I'm going to do Pro Minus so I can see what's going on here. Um, and our color is going to be two forty four. And then two thirty one. So I'm going to go and get a square, a rectangle there, draw it out, and then um, if I can draw it out or I can tap and do a 50 by 850 and then just drag it on over to make the background exactly in the middle of the artboard I can go to a line up here a line to um, line to artboard And then um, I'm going to right click and do arrange, send it back. Okay, so then now we're going to look at how to create the daisies. Just a second. Hello? What's up? So then now we're going to look at how to create the daisies. This is part three um, using the ellipses tool. I'm going to draw out an ellipses and my color is going to be 255, 233, and 141. So you notice it's kind of round, or it's kind of like ovally. Um, that's why sometimes we want to hold on our shift key to keep it even. Um, and then we're going to add a white ellipses. Um, And then uh, they don't want it perfect, so let's see. So white is going to be two fifty five, two fifty five, and two fifty five. And I'm going to copy paste, rotate,
I'm using my circle as kind of a base on where I want to put my petals. So I can click on this and do um, arrange, bring to front, so that I can see kind of what I'm doing here. And then do a range, bring the front again. Okay. Give or take. So this is our front view of this daisy. And I'm going to select, hold on, um, if I come over here, I can lock up that rectangle. Um, I'm going to lock up these other layers that so don't mess with it right now. So that whenever I select all of this, there we go. Size that down. Um, okay, so they want a sideways view of the daisy. And so place a few ellipses as the rear petals and then add a yellow ellipse in the middle and a few white petals in front. Um, and then the green ellipse will represent a spiral or sepal um, where the petal sits as our flowers rotated to the left. Make the green ellipses also slightly rotated to the left. Okay, so let's see what that's actually going to look like. So this is our first daisy. Move it up here. Second daisy. Um, if it's over, and let's see. So I'm going to select all these, minus, there we go, and then set the color on this one to 255, 250, and 240. Give it just a lot, slightly darker color to it. Um, Okay, and then we're going to add a few white 
petals in the front. And then we're going to get a green ellipses. It's going to be 221, 221, and 135. set it up here and then do arrange set it back there we go and then I'm gonna take the top of the anchor point here Gotta shift it downwards. There we go. Okay. So that's our second daisy. Um, the third daisy, we're gonna start with a yellow ellipse. And then add a few white petals behind it. Notice that the upper petals are smaller because the flower is looking up. So. Top part's gonna be a little bit smaller. Do that arrange sit in the front again. Um, make this one a little bit smaller on the size. Rotating them does not have to be perfect.
Okay. Um, so that's three different daisies. Um, and then we're going to group it. And so I'm going to get this group together and right click group. I'm going to come over here and right click group and then control minus so I can kind of see what's happening here. I'm going to find my first set of daisies. Right click and group. Okay. So this is our three daisies. And then we're going to place the flowers on top of the rubber boot and just one daisy laying on the ground. Just going to unlock all this. And I'm also going to group the boot. Make it larger. Okay, get it kind of center there. And then it's going to be our daisy there on the ground. And then I'm going to move that one up here. Get my one from the side view here. And then use that one and I can do transform, reflect, okay, to get the other side going on there. Roughly like that. And then for our stems, um, I'm going to go and get my fill color. It's going to be Two zero four, two zero two, hundred and eighteen, and then I can get my arc tool and kind of make an arc happening there. Arrange. So if I set it to back, it's going to disappear behind my background. Um, what I can do is also create a different layer. And then 
take that rectangle and move it down. There we go. Um, some of these I may have to go and let's see. Lining them up with each one of my flowers. And so this one, um, I probably am going to have to go to my, let's see if I use my curvature tool. I can kind of bring it in a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So that is the pretty much the um, flowers. And the next step is going to be to do the um, leaves. So I'm going to come back in another video show you how to do that.